Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3 of Now Assist and here we will be focusing on creators. In the first two videos we were focusing on the agents, now this video is for creators. In the first video we saw what is Now Assist, how to activate Now Assist, what are the benefits of Now Assist and we saw some skills of Now Assist for ITSM. Now we are focusing on now assist for creators and we will be activating those skills and we will also be testing those skills. And if you haven't checked out the first two videos, I have created a separate playlist for that. The link is in the description as well as on the top right corner. So here you would see the agenda. We will be focusing only on two skills for creators. There are other skills like playbook skills also which we will take a look at the later videos. But as of now, in this video, we will be focusing on flow generation for creator and second is flow recommendations for creator. I will explain you the difference between these two skills why we are doing a demo. And one important thing is I have activated both of these skills because I recorded a video earlier and it wasn't recorded properly. So those skills are already active. If you don't know how to activate a skill, I have done it in the first two videos also. You can go ahead and see that, but I will give you a gist here also. Let's go to our ServiceNow instance and see those skills. So here I'm in my ServiceNow instance and I will type now assist here and we will go to the admin console or the now assist admin homepage. And you see it has the now assist summary as well as it says skills not started. Here you would see those two skills, the flow designer recommendation skill and now assist for flow generation. If you wouldn't have started that skill. One other thing you would have to note is in plugins not installed. If you see now assist for creators here, you will have to go ahead and activate that plugin first. So the step one would be to activate the plugin if it's not already active now assist for creators and then you have to activate the skills. The other way to check is you go to install here in this report and it will show you which plugins are installed. So you can see there are two plugins installed now assist for creator and now assist for ITSM. And after you have installed your plugin, you have to activate the skills. Now to activate those skills, you can either go here and find out those skills, but I have already started those skills. So you don't see them here, but I will click on now assist features and under creator, you would see flow. And when you click on view details, you would see both of these skills, the flow generation and flow recommendation. Now the flow generation skill is basically to create a new flow automatically by giving a prompt. So your prompt should be very, very efficient and it will create a flow for you automatically. The second one is flow recommendation. This particular skill recommends you the next step when you are writing a flow. For example, you added an action in your flow to update a record. It might recommend you the next step to send an email maybe or something else depends how your model is trained. So we will go ahead and test both of these skills one by one. I will click on all and I will type here flow designer or you can type the workflow studio. Now if you haven't worked on flow designers, I have created an exclusive playlist for flow where there are 20 plus videos as of now around 24 where I have taken you through the basics of flow. What are the components of the flow designer and there are around 9 to 10 real world use cases of flow designers. So be sure to check that playlist out. The link is in the description and in the top right corner. So I will click on new to create a new flow and here you would see there is some difference in the UI because we now have now assist. 
so there are two options to create the flow you can just simply go ahead and create a flow by giving the flow name and the description and build flow on your own then you have this option build with now assist where it will generate a flow automatically for you so i will give some name here flow generation test one now you have to give the prompt here in now assist directions it should contain the trigger it should contain the data conditions and it should also contain the steps or the action which you want to do we have to include as much detail as we can because it will generate better results because generative ai needs better prompts so i will click on try an example so that it gives me something and here you can see it says create a flow that runs every midnight and find out all the problems which were created on the past day iterate over them and then the problem tickets which are not assigned to anyone it will assign it to level 1 triage group and then it will change the state to triaged and send a notification to the group so this is what this flow is doing it's a scheduled type of flow and it will assign the problem records to triage one group if they are not assigned to anyone from the past day i will click on generate flow preview and it will start generating that flow automatically so your flow would be generated without putting in any effort so here if i zoom in a bit we will look at the flow here you can see i'll just zoom out a bit maybe so here you see the trigger the small thing here the trigger is running daily at midnight and it is looking up records and then it's running a loop and then it is assigning oh it is checking if the ticket is not assigned to anyone or the problem ticket is not assigned to anyone it will update that record and then send a notification i think it looks correct i i will click on save and edit flow so right now in this yokohama version of service now it will create the steps for you it will create the structure for you however it will not put in the details but i have heard that in the future versions or maybe in this version only in a new patch it will automatically fill up those steps what i mean is for example look up records here right it does not populate the table name we will likely have to do that but it has created a structure for you in the flow designer okay you can put in the conditions here whatever you want to it's running daily at 12 o'clock or in the midnight and then you have to put in the for each loop here for the problem records and so on you have to put in those steps but it has created that particular structure with the prompt which you had given so this is flow generation for creators so this is the skill which we had activated now you look at the bottom looking for recommendations this is what was our second skill flow recommendation for creators so it is trying to automatically guess or automatically trying to generate the next step for you it is trying to guess that but again it depends how your llm is trained or how your particular service now instance is being used so it depends on lot of things obviously that llm is taking lot of things in account and it will recommend you those next steps and it has said it has found no recommendation try adding more content so maybe you will have to add more steps or maybe you will have to put in more details here and then it will actually create or generate the next steps automatically for you so these are the two skills which we were focusing on in this video for creators i hope this video made sense for you it was helpful for you and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i would be really happy to answer those and help you out and thanks for watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button thank you